the Lord just dropped this word in my spirit for someone. And he said, it's okay to begin again. I'll repeat, he said, it is okay to begin again. He was speaking to me about some of you who have done quite a bit of destruction and ruin in your lives because of your own hands, your own life choices and decisions and sins that you have committed. And I can see this picture of you just looking at all the broken pieces in your hands and on the floor of things that have been destroyed. But Jesus wants you to know today that it is okay if you turn to him and you come and you say, Lord, I am so sorry for all of this devastation, so sorry for not listening and for just committing all of these sins and bringing this ruin and destruction in my life. You know that he will put your sins behind his back and he will help you to pick up the pieces and to start rebuilding it. And that is what he meant by it is okay to begin again. Because when you turn to him, he is faithful to forgive your sins. And you can start with a brand new chapter with brand new tools in building up again. The Lord reminded me of the Israelites when they would sin against God and that they would not repent and turn from it. And when devastation came upon them and brought ruin to their city in Jerusalem, tearing down walls and buildings and the temple and everything, and they looked at basically the ruins, the Lord brought them back to that place and helped them to rebuild again. And that is what He wants to encourage you today. Even after all the ruin and devastation, you can rebuild with the Lord today if you choose to follow Him wholeheartedly and put those things behind your back. The Lord gave me Amos chapter 9 verses 14 and 15 for you. And I'm going to read it for you out of the NIV. And it says, I will bring back my exiled people Israel. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant Israel in their own land, never again to be uprooted from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. So if that's you today, take courage, my brother and sister in Christ. Turn to the Lord and know that He can rebuild you and wants to help you rebuild. My beautiful God, Lord, I thank you so much for this word. And I pray, Daddy God, that you would just bless whoever this brother and sister is. I pray, Lord, for them to receive this word deep down into their hearts and to get that revelation. Lord, that you can help them to rebuild and restore what they have torn down with their own hands. I pray, Lord, that you would give them just such a willing spirit, Lord, to follow you in the pathways of righteousness. Help them, Lord, to not get their feet ensnared and trapped by the temptations of the enemy. But help them, Lord, to just lift their eyes to you and to keep listening to your voice and going in your way in Jesus' most holy and powerful name. Amen. Oh, my brothers and sisters, for those of you who are interested, we are doing once a month fellowship time with one another where we can get to know one another, share our pathways and journeys, and it's quite fun. We just had one today as well. And so if you would like to connect with us more on a personal level and just doing life together, join us in eaglehub.com.au. We would love to have you on there and to journey with us. God bless you.